एम एस रामाया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसेस हाई स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस डिस्कस कंप्रेशन टेस्ट वी यूज मशीन्स एंड स्ट्रक्चर्स इन आर डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज मेंबर्स ऑफ मशीन्स एंड स्ट्रक्चर्स आर सब्जेक्टेड टू अ वैरायटी ऑफ लोडिंग कंडीशंस सच एज टेंसाइल लोडिंग कंप्रेसिव लोडिंग एंड शेयर लोडिंग हियर we will look at members of machines and structures that are subjected to compressive load piston and connecting rod of internal combustion engine legs of chair femur bone bed of a milling machine piers of bridge bicycle frame experience compressive loads in manufacturing processes like forging Compressive load is employed to convert raw material into product of desired shape and size. In such conditions, knowledge of material behavior under compressive load is essential to a design engineer. Compression test is conducted to study the behavior of the specimen material under compressive load to determine compressive strength. Machine elements members of structures carry compressive loads. Design engineer ought to know the behavior of materials under compressive load. Compressive strength and tensile strength are generally same for ductile materials example mild steel. Brittle materials example cast iron, concrete, ceramics have much larger compressive strength in comparison to their tensile strength. Compression behavior is of interest to metal forming industry for forging rolling where raw material is plastically deformed under compressive loads to obtain the desired shape and size Compression test is conducted by holding the test specimen between two plates and then applying a compressive force to the specimen by moving one cross head while the other remains stationary in a controlled way the typical testing procedure is to deform or upset the material at a constant speed in a universal testing machine utm cylindrical specimens are commonly used for compression test with length to diameter ratio in the range of 0.8 to 3 Values of L by D ratio between 1.5 to 2 are suitable for brittle materials with small end effects. L by D ratio up to 10 are sometimes used where primary objective is to accurately determine the elastic modulus in compression. At any time during the test, the engineering stress sigma not in the specimen can be calculated by dividing applied compressive load p by the original cross sectional area a not engineering strain is calculated by dividing change in length delta l by the original length l not engineering strain along the x axis versus engineering stress along y axis is plotted from the graph we note the compressive strength engineering stress true stress is the ratio of instantaneous load to instantaneous cross sectional area true strain is related to engineering strain by the following relation true strain along x axis versus true stress along y axis is plotted from the graph we note the compressive strength true stress in a compression test uniform stress state within the specimen can be maintained when the specimen axis and loading axis coincide the ends are flat proper lubrication of the specimen ends are achieved strains up to 0.5 or higher is achievable in compression test while this is limited to 0.2 in uni axial tensile test if buckling occurs the test results should be discarded typical compressive stress strain graphs are shown in figure 1 alloy steel 4340 nickel chromium molybdenum and figure 2 aluminum a35700 t6 which are typical ductile materials 
The figure shows the schematic diagram of Universal Testing Machine UTM. The figure shows Universal Testing Machine with parts such as Upper Cross Head UCH, Middle Cross Head MCH, Lower Cross Head LCH, Data Acquisition System DAS. The figure shows control panel of UTM with parts such as return line knob, middle crosshead controls, hydraulic pump controls, pressure line knob, power switch for UTM, PC monitor. The figure shows UTM parts such as middle crosshead MCH, fixture attached to MCH, lower crosshead LCH and mild steel aluminium specimens. Specimen observation. Specimen tabulation. Equations used are Design engineer uses compressive strength data thus obtained to determine size of machine elements or members of structures which are subjected to compressive load. Knowledge of compressive strength is essential for metal forming industry where applied stress exceeds compressive strength in order to plastically deform the material. Hello students. Today we are going to conduct compression test. Okay. The aim of the experiment is to study the compressive behavior of the material okay, and to find out the compressive strength of the material. Universal testing machine consists of a loading unit which is hydraulically operated. Okay. It is controlled through this, uh, the knobs and controls on the control panel. This is the control panel. The power to the UTM is controlled with this knob here. By turning this on, we supply, we switch on the power supply to the UTM. Okay. Then we have two knobs here, and this is return line uh, valve control. Say when we want to remove, the unload the, bring down the lower the position, we have to open this so that the fluid comes out, and there is no uh, fluid pressure. When we are doing the experiment, this valve has to be closed. This is a supply side valve, which is normally closed. When we want to load, start low apply the load, then we turn this in the right direction and open the valve and fix it. These knobs guide us. To, this is the switching on the hydraulic mode pump, and this is the switching off the hydraulic pump. These two yellow buttons control the movement of middle cross head. Middle cross head is here. This is the upper cross head, and this is the lower hand, lower cross head. This is a data acquisition system, which is connected to the computer uh, uh, and to the UTM. This we use to acquire or to monitor uh, the load applied and the displacement of the cross head. We can record the data and see the graph of the uh, load displacement on the computer this, uh, using a software, mechanical software. We need a specimen. This is the aluminum specimen which is going to which we are going to use for compression test. And then a vernier caliper. This is vernier caliper. This we use to measure the dimensions of the specimen. First, let us measure the dimensions of the specimen. Okay. Let us measure the dimensions of the specimen. We are now measuring the diameter of the specimen. It has, uh, it is crossed the, the zeroth number division on the one year is to the right side of the 20 millimeters. So, and the fifth division on the one year coincides with the main scale division. Hence, the dimension of diameter of the specimen is 20.10 as the least count of the one year is 0 0.02 millimeters. Now let's measure the length of the specimen. The zeroth division on the one year is to the left of the 20 millimeters. 
and the coincident division is 98th division on the one year hence the length of the specimen is 19.96 millimeters after measuring the dimensions of the specimen we are now going to keep it here on the in the utm machine uh, let us keep the specimen uh, mount it on the uh, lower cross head the axis of the specimen must coincide with the loading axis of the machine let us switch on the main power supply to the utm to the data acquisition system and also to the power supply to the pc switching on the power supply to the utm power supply to the data acquisition system and power supply to the pc switch on the computer switch on the power supply to the data acquisition system with the button at the back okay switch on the power supply to utm after switching on the machine we have to bring the surface of the middle cross head to touch the specimen that can be controlled using these two yellow buttons which control the movement of the middle cross head so we can use this button to move the cross head up we can use the the second one the down yellow button to move the cross head downwards we are going to use the down button so that the middle cross head touches the upper surface of the specimen once the specimen is kept in place we will start the software it's a mechanic mechatronic software we'll double click on the shortcut to mechatronic control system software so we get this panel it has several tabs let's look at one test type when you click on this you will get the small window here it will ask what is the test type we have to use we are conducting compression test okay so we will get load versus displacement data from it and we will say click okay then we we'll look at the second tab which is specimen what we are using a round specimen so we'll click on the select the round button and then say okay we'll go ahead and look at test data here we'll give the name what is the serial test for the test name okay lab test demo okay we'll, it's a round specimen we will have to provide the diameter which is 20.10 mm these factors will remain same and we we'll click okay units our load will be displayed in kilonewton the displacement will be in millimeters and our stress will be in newton per millimeter square and we say okay online scale here we will see the graph plot of load versus displacement so we will keep zero as the minimum value of the displacement and around 25 mm as the maximum value of the displacement and loading minimum value is zero and maximum value we will choose around 200 kN and we will say click okay we will click on this start test okay here we will have to press online to synchronize the data from data acquisition system to be shown on the software panel okay. let's click online so the data shown on the data acquisition system and displayed here on the panel matches uh, let us switch on the hydraulic pump by pressing the green button in order to apply load the return line valve should be closed so we close it by rotating like this in the clockwise direction till it is completely tight okay. then we will set the load and displacement value to 
it and press yes we will see a plot now we apply the load by rotating this valve and lever we are now seeing graph of load versus displacement since the specimen we are testing in compression test is aluminum it's a ductile material it won't break or fail in a compression so the resistance uh, the load required will continuously increase and might reach the limiting value of the utm machine itself hence we will stop loading now after stopping the machine we have to close this valve completely and we have to open the return line valve okay completely okay now we can remove the specimen by first uh, moving the middle cross in upwards using this control after completion of the loading Uh, the specimen has bulged out okay let us measure the dimensions of the specimen let us measure the diameter of the specimen this reads out 22.4 mm in diameter the length reads out to be 16.6 mm in the software we see this plot which shows load on the y axis and displacement along the x axis our compressive strength the point of interest is this zone where the slope which is very high this finding the compressive strength completes the experiment At MSR UAS we spark your imagination unlike any other